Hey guys, welcome back to another Decorate with Abby. Like I said, we would be back very quickly to do the Halloween decor. If you already watched the fall porch decorate with me, this is the perfect for fall transitioning into Halloween. So now I'm gonna show you just a couple little things that I add for that little Halloween touch for the front porch. I made these little ghosts for the front porch. If you wanna see how I did it, I made a, a Halloween indoor outdoor DIY project and I go step by step on how to do this. Super easy. Honestly, probably took me about 10, 15 minutes tops. One thing I didn't show in my DIY video, but you can do if you wanna add a little uh, pop to it, you can get these cheap Amazon little witch hats and add it to the little ghost if you want. That way if you're not doing all this extra stuff. Now we're gonna hang up the Halloween hats. I've done a front porch decorate with me videos, but just in case you've never seen those and you wanna know how I'm hanging these little witch hats, I got these little votive candles. I hot glued fishing wire around so that way it hangs as a little weight. And then I feed the string up through the tip of the hat. So that way the little votive candle, it gives it a nice little point and it kind of weights it so it keeps it in place. And then at the very top, I just triple knotted safety pin. I leave these up all year round, 3M little swinging hooks. That way they're already in place, nobody sees it, and it's easy just to pop up. So let's put these up. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Every year, I thought I was going to just save the bats, but they get sticky on the bottom. For $6, I can just rebuy a whole entire new pack. Um, that way I have fresh little stickies and fresh bats. They come with 56 different sized bats. You've got like a little tiny one and then like four different sizes. So a pretty good variety and I'm just separating the different sizes so I can work with it. Just finished the bats. We've got two more things left. Totally forgot about the ring doorbell cover, so we'll put this on and then swap out the uh, doormat for a little spooky doormat. Huckleberry, it's us. He wants we're, his present. We're right here. Someone is at the front door. I. Yeah, we're here. Hi. I'm about to drop a bomb on you. West Elm, love it. Beautiful, expensive prices. I found this one for like $10, maybe 12 at, at home. The exact same thing. I swear to you, there's nothing different about it. And like, I'm just saying it's pretty good, pretty good quality too. It's pretty heavy. So even though the fall one was adorable, I feel like this is the perfect swap out for the doormat. So that's it with hanging the witch hats, the bats, swapping out the mat and the doorbell cover. That is it. So if you want to know, it took me about an hour to do everything. So super easy, quick to do in an evening. But there's one last touch I want to bring out. We can live like Jack and Sally if we want, but this, this season, only Sally's coming out. I feel like she enjoys uh, Halloween a little bit more than Jack. Close your mouth, sweetie, you look like a trout. Close your mouth, sweetie, you look like a trout. Zip tie. 
So now that it's a little darker, you can see that I strung some lights around the inside. So they illuminate and they look cute on the porch. And you'll see it in the DIY video um, that I just put out if you haven't already. So that's it. That is how you can decorate for Halloween with just adding those little touches. Hope you liked it. If you did, like, subscribe, comment if you want to see me do something next year. I would love to change something up, but I hope you loved it. I'll see you next time. Bye! Someone has been begging to come out, so I'm going to show him the final reveal. Hey, Hucky! Hey. Come see! Yeah! Do you see it? Who is that? Who's this? Hucky, who is that? You love it? Does it look good? Yeah? And oh, got... Hucky! You it's look so day. cute! You look so oh, cute! Good. What a good boy.